This month on Doing the Most, it's dry January where we make fermented sodas. And on this episode of Doing the Most, we're making orange aid with a ginger bug. Moment brews and various artus, everything from me to rose. Big creation, fermentation, and ebriation, doing the most. Orange aid. This is simple. We don't need any contextualizing for this. No. Orange soda. It's orange soda. Who loves orange soda? This guy. I do, I do, I do, ooh. <laughs> what do we need to do? We need to make a ginger bug. Yes, that's the first step. And a ginger bug is what? Um, a ginger bug, it says here, is the starter culture that is used as the base for ginger beer, probiotic tonics, and other exotic fermented sodas. Exotic. And if you hear any... <laughs> yeah. If you hear any baby babbling during this video, that is because a baby most... Is right here. Is right <laughs> off camera. Down on the floor. She's fine though. Yeah, she's going to sleep, I think, hopefully. Okay, so we have to make a ginger bug first. Yes. And, and that requires some water, some sugar, and some ginger. Yes. Those are the things. Okay. So, um, one large piece of fresh ginger. Okay. Just this whole thing. I think that'll do it. Probably, okay, right? probably, yeah. We'll freeze the rest. Great enough for one tablespoon. And that's all we need? That's what it says, yeah. Why doesn't it just say a tablespoon of grated ginger on the first page? I don't know, because they, they want to make sure that you have the skin on. Okay. That's about a tablespoon right there. Yeah. I wouldn't even worry about measuring it at that point. We need to put the ginger in the jar, and then we need one tablespoon of sugar to the jar. We're using organic sugar. Yes. So bougie. Okay. okay, and then we are supposed to add the water. It's 500 milliliters. 500 milliliters, yeah. Do you want to do that? Sure. This uh, this measuring thing has imperial on one side and metric on the other. So basically what we're supposed to do now is oxidize it. Okay, so we put the lid on and shake. Mm-hmm. Open the jar, let in some air, and do it twice more. Okay. <laughs> Letting let it breathe some. Getting some of that. Capturing the air. And one more time? Mm hmm. These are gasketed lids for fermenting. Mm hmm. We'll put a link to these in the description of this video if you want to check these out. We use them for like pickles and stuff, mm -hmm. things like yeah. that. But for a ginger bug, it made a lot of sense. The good news is we're done. Well, what about that whole other thing of sugar? So that is to feed it. It's like a it's like a sourdough starter. Oh, so, okay. So we're supposed to let it sit, and every day we're supposed to grate another tablespoon and put another teaspoon or another tablespoon of sugar in. So it. every day for the next like week, we're supposed for to, three days. For three days, we're supposed to feed it. Yes. Okay. Once a day, grate another tablespoon. Blah blah blah. Mix well. On the third day, you should see bubbles appearing. Oh, continue the feeding and oxygenating process for two more days. Okay. So today is a Monday. Yes. By Saturday, this thing should be ready, so we can make our orange aid. Yep. And okay. anything else we want. I'm really excited to have a ginger bug on here. A ginger hand. bug, yeah. What about you? Yeah. We need to um, squeeze some orange juice. So this is just oranges and ginger bug. Yep. There's nothing else interesting in here. Nope. What if one mm -hmm. of the bottles we put some vanilla extract in? Sounds good. For a little like orange, orange sickle kind yeah. of flavor Cream profile. Sickle. Cream yeah. sickle, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I will cut up these oranges. If okay. you would like to juice them in our juicer. Okay. 
So we need this to go up to 600, right? Is that what it said, 600 mils? It, yes. 600 mils. And then, and then we'll find our ginger bug. Okay. Okay. How much of this goes in here? Five fluid ounces. Okay. So we should be able to take it up to that line there. Mm-hmm. What else are we gonna make with our ginger bug? I don't know. The sky's the limit now. So we need to put some slivers of ginger in those bottles. Mm-hmm. Good thing Wouldn't we have know, all the ginger in the world. I still have our giant hand of ginger here. So how about I cut off a finger? Okay. And you want to just do some like, maybe cut these into like little niblets like this? Yeah. It says a few pieces. So I think that qualifies as a few pieces. Okay. Well, I'll give that to you. Okay. And then I'll uh, stir our ginger bug in here. What? Yeah, you're really, you're handy dandy stirrer. So I'm gonna have you elevate the funnel and we'll see if we can pour gently here. That's okay, good. Perfect. All right, so we'll put a little bit of vanilla in one of those. Yeah. More? Maybe like one more smidge. Scientific. Beautiful. It's all over the bottle. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. All right. So we'll be back in a couple of days. Cool. To try our vanilla creamsicle orangeade and our regular orangeade. I'm excited. I hope it's good. Me too. So let's start with the the OG. The vanilla version. <laughs> oh, hissed. Nice. It smells like orange juice and it, ginger. It's very thick too. Well yeah, there's like some pulp in there still. But it's very fizzy. You can see a lot of bubbles on the mm -hmm. sides of the glass. It's very fizzy. Um, I think it might have gone a little too long. Yeah, it could be sweeter. Yeah. It's, it's... I was worried about the level of carbonation though. It's like yeah, there was a balance, balance of of I don't want it to be uncarbonated, but I also don't want it to run dry. And yeah. so I put it in the fridge like two days ago to try and halt it. And I think the carbonation level's right, but you're right, it's it's a little it's a little dry. Yeah. The ginger in the bottle is definitely off putting. I don't want to have to like filter through my mouth. Yeah, yeah. I think if I were to do it again, I would definitely not include the ginger. I can in the smell bottle. vanilla. This one's less carbonated than the other one. Yeah. Curiously. I don't really taste the vanilla so much in here. We probably could have added more. I taste it a little bit, but. It's got like a little bit of like an orange toothpaste vibe to it. I think that um, this could use some tweaking. I would thin it out. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't use all orange juice and I would probably use some of the orange zest mm -hmm. in there to give it a zestiness. And I think I would add honey or sugar, something to, to ensure that there's more sweetness in yeah. there. So I think this might be one we might want to um, L lift with. from the book and, and make our own. Yeah. All right. So All right. we're going to mix this up. Uh huh. My way. His way. It's my way or the highway. Because this, this. Your is way a, is the highway. <laughs> the highway to Flavor Town. This original recipe did not work. Mm -hmm. It was not good. Yeah. I mean, our attempt didn't work. You might try it and it might be more successful. Maybe. I think the problem is that there's no sugar added. Mm -hmm. I think that the problem is is you're only using orange juice and so you don't get any of that richness of the oils that are in the skin. Mm. So my recommendation is we're going to put three tablespoons of honey in mm -hmm. and we're going to use the zest of one of the oranges. Got it. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to zest an orange okay. if you want to get three tablespoons of honey in. My plan was to mix it all up in here, leave it for a day, okay. and then strain it into a bottle so we get the zest out of it and then let it carbonate. And probably some of the pulp too. Okay. So if you want to measure out three tablespoons of honey into that, I will zest an orange and one then I will cut all of these should be in our kitchen. I stole them. There's 
like big crystallized chunks in here. Yeah. So we're using meadow foam honey for this. Because if you recall from our previous attempt, we tried using vanilla extract, mm -hmm. like an orange cream sort of thing. I'm hoping that the meadow foam honey, which kind of tastes like marshmallows or vanilla, in addition to tasting like honey, I'm hoping that that gives it some of that creamy, creamsicle kind of vibe. Hoping. Hoping. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. This is our orange shade. <laughs> Made half a mason jar. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do, we'll leave this, we'll leave this on here loose. How's it smell? It smells orangey. It smells gingery. Yeah, you can, if you get a nice big whiff, you can smell the meadow foam in there. Mm -hmm. So we'll leave this on loose and we'll strain that into a bottle manana. Manana. Try to get some of that pulp out because it's going to separate out and it's going to look weird. Yeah, well, in the, the zest. In the zest, yeah. Yeah. So we'll be back tomorrow. Jade. Okay, it hissed. I heard it hiss. That's yeah. a good start. Ready? Yeah, it's not like weirdly separated. Did I mean, you shake it up? I spun it a little bit, yeah. It's sparkling. You can't really taste the sparkle. You can taste everything else. That's a shame. You can definitely see the sparkle. Yeah, it's syrupy though. Not, not bad syrupy. But maybe we should have cut down on the honey just a little bit. Woo! That tastes like oranges. Yeah, but it also, I mean, you can taste the meadow foam too and the ginger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we started out with the book's recipe. Mm -hmm. We created our riff recipe. Mm -hmm. Here on screen, I would put, I think, what would be the final recipe. Mm -hmm. And I think what that would be is to match what we did in our recipe mm -hmm. one for one with water. <laughs> to thin it thin out. Thin it out, yeah. It's just too, I think it's too thick for the bubbles to like mm -hmm. really let you know they're there. Yeah, so I'll put that up on the screen. Actually, it's probably already on the screen. Yeah, in real time. In real time. It's fine. Yeah, it's 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 fine. It tastes like gingery sweet orange juice, which I guess is what it is. Like there's nothing fantastic about it. It's far superior to Round one. Yeah, the recipe from the book. Yeah. But I think you're right, it's a little syrupy. to test the custom orangeade recipe. We tested mm. this a few days ago and you thought it wasn't sparkling enough. I did think that and you got so, real sensitive. <laughs> so we let it sit a little bit more. Now we're gonna open it and try okay. it out. This was made with orange juice, water, marmalade, and uh, meadow foam honey. All right, I remember it being meadow foam forward. Yeah. And there was a little bit of just like a pinch of bread yeast in there mm -hmm. to give it some sparkle. Yeah. So let's hope it doesn't blow up on us. But. Yeah. Nice. That is carbonation. Yeah. Sounds carbonated. Oh yeah, there's lots of bubbles there. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The carbonation level hits now. Yeah. And it's not funky at all. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> That's perfect. That's what I was hoping orange aid would be when we started. Yeah. So we'll put the recipe here on the screen. Mm -hmm. You know, the meadow foam has died down a little bit. Yeah. It's yeah, not as... It's, it's more blended. Like all the flavors yeah. are kind of married now in a way. I don't think they were before. 
Mm, it's delicately sweet. Nice, bold, juicy orange note. None of that after your toothbrush mm -hmm. session mm -hmm. kind of flavor. Yeah, it's lovely. It's delightful. We did it. We did we it. We did it. We created our own orange aid recipe. Yeah. Because the book failed us. Yeah. You might oh, be well. into ginger orange aid. We weren't. We weren't. But this is great. Yeah, I like this a lot. We should actually we should make like a twelve pack of this. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like it's 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 healthy, right? It's nutritious. There's vitamin C, probiotics, sugar water. Happy brewing. Happy fermenting. You should like and follow and subscribe and ring the bell and go to Discord and go to Instagram. Do it all. Do it all. Go to sipandsaver.org. That's not a website. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. That doesn't mean that's not real. <laughs> Saver.org. Saver.org. Go yeah, to Saver.org. There's still a little time left in that Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. Happy dry January. Happy back to drinking February. Woohoo! <laughs>